Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living Weekly Live broadcast. Today is Sunday, August 1st of 2021. The Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives to create a sustainable environment and a peaceful world. Today's topic, today's about breaking the pattern interrupts. I'm sorry, interrupting the subconscious patterning that we take for granted so much to the point that we don't even notice it's there. That that subtly drags us down into that, well, is this all there is to life? I guess I better keep myself busy so I don't have to think about it and that subtle dissatisfaction that distracts us from really believing and being all that we can be and all that we're meant to be and that we truly in our hearts desire to be. So that is what today is about. And I want to make the intro meditation that we usually do, I want to make it a little bit shorter today than usual so that we can get into the sacred sound codes, the divine names. We're going to work with a mantra of three divine names today that all are about interrupting the patterning and the the embodied fluid existence, the embodied divine existence, the fluid divine existence that runs through us like the ocean, like the water that runs through us. It's the life force. And sometimes we get stuck in particular ruts in that life force and that there's a pattern interrupt that can stop us and jolt us loose from that subconscious pattern, that rut and guide us to back to the origin, back to the truth of who we are. So I want to actually spend time in the mantras of those divine names and the sacred sound codes that make up those divine names so that we can really let them act on the energy body, the nervous system, and really let our bodies respond to the vibrations of those sound codes and those divine names, the meanings of those divine names. So I'll do a short intro uh, meditation to set us into the space, and then we'll go into those divine names, let the body respond to them and move and shift, and then we'll do a wrap-up. Okay. So let's go ahead and come into our circle. And let's come into our circle sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, coming together as one. And let's bring all of our focus and attention to the center of the circle. And let's let's just breathe together for a moment and settle in. Come to be present. Let your senses, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your face, all face to the center of the circle. And let your heart center come to be present in the center of the circle. And let your belly come to be present in the circle with you. And together, let's call on our source In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate, we call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your pure divine light and establish our gathering in your light. And just feel, imagine, perceive, see this stream of pure divine light streaming into the center of our circle filling all of our circle with this stream of pure divine light. 
streaming in, filling all of this space with pure divine light. And just let your being be met with this light, your entire being. Let yourself take it in through your senses, through your eyes, through your ears, through your nose, through your mouth, through your skin, through your pores, and through your breath. Just take this pure divine light into the core of your body and into every fiber of your being. As it travels in through your organs of your senses, through your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your your pores, and into your nervous system, just let it travel through your electrical circuitry within your body. And let this pure divine light just cleanse and purify as it moves through your body, through your nervous system, into your brain and spinal column, and out through your nervous system to all of your arms and legs, to your extremities, all the way to your fingers and your toes, and all the way through you. Taking in that pure divine light. And together let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your unconditional love. And when we ask for our source to send this divine light and unconditional love, the divine light and unconditional love are already here. And what we're really asking for is for those vibrations to be called forth and to be uh, strengthened and to come into our awareness so that we can attune to them and align to them and be in the presence of them, take them into our bodies. And again, with this Unconditional love, let this come into your body also. And take it all the way into your core. So just imagine, perceive this vibration of unconditional love right in front of you. And let your heart center face to this vibration of unconditional love. And... As you inhale, just breathe this in through your heart center. Let your heart center, that funnel of energy at the front of your chest, be be like a breathing portal. And let your breath draw this pure, unconditional love and divine light in through your heart center. Take it all the way into your heart. And as you exhale, just let this heart Let it relax. Let it release the tension and the constriction. And let's let yourself have an audible sigh. Just a gentle, oh, and let everything go. That's a note to self. (laughs) I was having technical difficulties before getting on the call today, and I'm recognizing, hey, this is a little more tense than usual. Let that heart center be like a breathing funnel, breathing in pure divine light and unconditional love. And as you exhale... Just let your heart center come to rest. And inhaling, breathe this in 
this pure divine light and unconditional love. Breathe it in deeper and deeper into your heart center with each inhale. And as you exhale, just let yourself lean back into your body and drop down into your hips, into your pelvic bowl. Breathe in that pure divine light and unconditional love. And exhale as you lean back, like leaning up against your spine, and let that water of pure divine light and unconditional love, let it stream through your heart center and into the core of your body and let yourself be showered with this gentle rain of pure divine light and unconditional love. And to let yourself receive, be like the sponge and just draw all of this in to hydrate your body and your core light, your energy body, be hydrated with pure divine light and unconditional love. And again, let's come together at the center of our circle and let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your eternal compassion. Just imagine, feel this pure, divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion, the ocean of divine compassion that is eternal because it extends beyond our time and space realm and contains the entirety of our time and space realm. And let's call this vibration to turn on in our space. And so our entire space is resonating with pure divine light, with unconditional love, with eternal compassion. And let that resonate through our space. And allow yourself to be held and supported in this ocean of eternal compassion. And just let your entire being rest into this ocean and be held and supported like floating in the gentle stream. So let yourself be carried in this eternal compassion. And I want to call today on some divine names. Divine names we're going to work with today, they have they all have the same beginning. They all have the beginning of the sound of mm, the M, which is the meaning of the divine, uh, the sacred sound code of the M. The M mm, is the fluid existence. In Hebrew, it means water. In the sacred sound codes in the Arabic, it means the fluid existence, the fluid divine existence coming into form. And when we follow that with the ooh sound, the mu, this is the embodied fluid existence. So this is your internalized embodied experience of the fluid existence. So they all begin with that mu and then the it's like a glottal a glottal stop the the mu and so there's a glottal stop there that is like an interrupt so it's like mu 
and the three divine names that we're going to work with, the first one is Mu Mean Mu Mean. And this is the divine name for faith and trust. The divine name for faith or trust. Also for support. It is the one who makes secure, the believer. Right? When we feel secure, we have faith. So mu mean is the one who makes secure, the one who makes us strong in faith. The mean is it comes from the word the same root as the word amin or amen, which means yes, which is affirming. So this is taking those places of self doubt, of questioning of, you know, am I really meant to be here? Am I really doing the right things? Or am I really on the right track? And, or am I meant to heal? Or this is the way it's always been? Any of those kind of things. And it's breaking that that patterning and standing in the yes. Standing in the faith, standing in the security. Mu min. So that's the first one we're going to work with, and I'll introduce them again. The uh, let me just spell it in case you did not get the email or you're not looking at the website or the social media post. It's M as in Mary, U, and then the U. And then the M is in Mary, I N, Mu Min. And the second one is Mu Is, Mu Is. And it's the M is in Mary, U, again that glottal stop, and the I Z Z, double Z as in zebra. And it comes from the word Aziz, which is strength the divine strength, and the mu is, is that internalized fluid existence breaking us out of our patterns and returning us to the divine existence within the divine strength, the divine honor to to rebuild in us the self-confidence, the self-esteem and take us out of those perceived inner weaknesses, uh, the unworthiness, the not enoughness, so that we can just break out of those patterns and stand in honor of the divine strength, the, the, the esteem and the confidence of that. The third one is mu'id. So again, starting with that embodiment of the fluid existence and then the the interrupt and the id is like the, the infusing with new life and new expression. So this is the one where we're actually allowing for the new creation to come in and recognizing that what exists within us, what gives life force to our physical form, is the divine expression that moves through us in every moment. And in every moment, that can be created anew. It can be created anew within us. And that is... M as in Mary, U, the the glottal stop, and the I, D as in David, Mu, Id. And that's the one who restores. 
restoring us to the true life force within. And the true life force within is moving through us all the time, being regenerated and recreated and life anew moving through in every moment. Now, let's see. I want to read from, I I opened up the, um, there's a a book of meditations by John Muir called Nature's Temple, compiled and edited by Chris Highland. And I want to read a passage from that. It says, Objects seen every day, and let me just say, this is from a the section called Sleeping All Our Lives, Sleeping All Our Lives. This is uh, on awakening. Objects seen every day are scarce seen at all. Clocks strike without being heard. As one may even hear the discharge of a cannon so often in the same tone and volume of sound that it is no longer heard. So much need is there for a change of scene, new points of view. How many notice so glorious a phenomenon as the rising of the sun over a familiar landscape? All that is necessary to make any landscape visible and therefore impressive is to regard it from a new point of view or from the old one with our heads upside down. Then we behold a new heaven and earth and are born again as if we had gone on a pilgrimage to some far off holy land and had become new creatures with bodies inverted. The scales fall from our eyes And in like manner, we are made to see when we go on excursions into fields and pastures new. I thought that captures the essence of what we're doing today to work with these divine names to get us unstuck from the old patterns. Introduce the pattern interrupt to restore and rebuild our faith, our confidence, and the new expression of the life force within us. So let's begin by settling in. And let's take a minute and this divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion, breathe it all the way into the core of your body. And as you exhale, just let yourself drop down and land into your hips, into your pelvic bowl and drop into your body. And let's just take a moment to be with the breath and listen. Be with the breath and listen. Because these Voices of questioning, the subtle voices inside that we, you know, they're there all the time, but we don't take the time to slow down and listen. And sometimes if we don't slow down and listen, life will give us a pattern interrupt, an abrupt pattern interrupt that will stop us in our tracks and bring us to a place of stillness where we have to listen. So we don't have to wait for that to happen. We can do that now. But just slow down. Be in your body. Really drop in. Lean back against your spine and drop down and land into your hips, into your pelvic bowl, breathing in that divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion. And just listen and ask. What are some of those subtle voices that you'd like to release yourself from today? Where you'd like to bring a pattern interrupt, perhaps a belief in a a condition or a pain or an injury that's been nagging you. 
that you think you can never heal. You might call on your guides, call on your source and offer that as something that you would like help with releasing today. Or a thought or a belief that you might never heal your relationship or get a new relationship or resolve your financial issues, whatever that might be. Those old beliefs that keep you stuck, believing you can never have the change you truly seek or never be happy within the circumstances that you're in. So call on your source, your angels, your guides, your healers, your helpers, and just offer this to them and ask for their help to release it. And we'll bring in the first divine name, Mu'min. And say this out loud to yourself so you can internalize it, really bringing it into the core of your body. So you're bringing the vibration of these sacred sound codes into your physical body. The vibration of the sacred sound code, they are what they are, called as they are, because the vibration produced by the sound resonates at the same frequency of the thing that it names. So, is your embodied internalized existence, embodied internalized experience of the fluid existence within you? And then that glottal stop is the interrupt the patterning and mean is just like saying yes and standing in the yes. So as you bring this name, mean, just feel yourself breaking out of the patterns and standing in the yes. And as you stand in the yes, and allow your yes, your faith to be strengthened. Let the let that just break the old patterns. Let them fall away. Let them dissipate. Let them be carried away by the angels and helpers as you stand in the strength of that faith. And allow that faith and that yes to be strengthened. Mu-min. Mu-min. You can go at your own pace with that. I'm going to stay with it over a period of time so that your body can receive the vibration and respond to it. About six more minutes. Mu mean. Mu mean. Mu mean. Mu mean. Mu. Mm-hmm.
bring that vibration in, inside of you. Let it resonate throughout the fluid existence, the energy body. And know that your body is 70% water. And to let the vibration ripple through the water of your body, the fluid existence of your body. Mu mean. Mu mean. And as you stand in the amin, amin, the faith, the yes, just let that strengthen in you, let it build the security at your core. Let it strengthen your faith and trust, that faith and trust that the universe is supporting you. And let that become unwavering inside of you, that certainty, that belief. The universe is supporting you. Mu mean. Ah mean. Mu mean. Embodying the yes. Mu mean. Mu mean. Mu mean mu mean mu mean mu mean mu existence reflected in the manifestation. Everything in the manifestation in this world contains the fluid existence, is a reflection of the fluid existence, is an expression of the fluid existence, the divine existence. Mu-mean. Mu mean, and you are seen, you are known, you are heard, you are understood, you are recognized, you are acknowledged, you are affirmed, you are perfect, you have everything that you need. This 
to stand in that knowing and say yes and receive it. Let anything that tells you otherwise release. Just keep letting it go. Stand in the yes and say yes. Mu me. Mu me. Mu me. Now let's introduce the next divine name, Mu is. Mu is. Mu is. And that's M as in Mary, U, and then the I, the glottal stop, and the I, Z, Z, Mu is. And that's kind of in the back of the throat, so it comes out like Mu is hard for an English-speaking person as myself to say sometimes. This is this comes from the name of Alviz, which is the divine strength, and Mu'iz is the one who grants honor, self-esteem, and self-confidence, that inner strength. So again, any place that tells you that you are less than, that you are unworthy, that you are not enough, that you have some shortcomings or weaknesses that keep you from being all that you are meant to be and created to be and truly are, so let those go. Let those, offer those now to your source to the angels, the healers, helpers, guides. Trust in them to take them and do what they will with them and really let those go from your energy body, from your physical body, from your nervous system, from your fluid existence that is internalized within you And allow yourself to stand in the strength, the internal divine strength, and honor that strength. Let it build in you the self-esteem and the confidence that truly honors the truth of your existence of the divine within you, of what you were created to be. Mu is. Mu is. Mu is. Mu is. Position yourself to like step out of the old patterning and stand in the strength, saying yes to this strength and the confidence, the esteem and honor that is worthy of the divine existence within you, saying yes to that. And just allowing the other to fall away and dissipate as it is released from you. So you're stepping out of the old patterning, standing in the strength, reciting that mu is, and letting any of those attachments to those old patternings, old ruts, let them be released and washed away. Mu is. Mu is. Mu is. Mu is. Mu is. Mu-a's. 
let me say if your body feels like it wants to move to help to unwind some of these energies or release them, let yourself have that movement. You can use the sound vibration and the breath to direct the vibrations and the movement in and through your body and let your body have motion as it wants to unwind and release the energies and take on the new postures of the security, the faith, the strength, the self-esteem and self-confidence of mu min and mu is 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 Yes to the strength. And allow yourself to feel the confidence, the esteem, and the honor. Honor worthy of the sacred existence within you. And now we introduce the third divine name, Al Muid. Al Muid. Al Muid is the name of the one who restores. And again, this is the embodied fluid existence, interrupting the old patterns and bringing through or infusing with the new life and the new expression as the life force within you is the breath of your source, the life force energy from your source moving through you and giving new life in every moment and giving new expression to that new life in every moment. So let's call on the one who restores Yamu'id. Yamu'id. And bring these sacred sound codes into your body, into your core. Mu'id. Mu eat and this Ya Mu Min, the one who makes secure Ya Mu eat, the one who grants honor Ya Mu eat, the one who restores. We're calling on our source and calling forth these particular attributes of our source through these divine names. And now let's stand in, stand in the new life force and the new expression of what wants to come through in this moment from source. Mu id. Ya mu Eid. Mu Eid. Stand in the new life force and the new expression.
expression and let the rest fall away, that which you no longer need. Allow yourself to be restored with new life and new expression of your source. Mu'id. 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 And this is the M U. The I. The glottal stop. I D. D is in David or Deborah. Mu'id. 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 Ya 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 Mu'id. And standing in the strength, standing in the new creation, standing in the new expression, and standing in the yes, yes to the support of the universe, yes to the newness that the universe wants to bring through you. 
shall we say, the source, the source of all, the creator that creates anew in every moment, standing in the confidence, the strength, knowing that you are supported, allowing the life force to create new life and new expression within you. Ya mu min Ya mu is Ya mu id Ya mu min Ya mu is Ya mu id Ya mu min Ya mu iz Ya mu id And now just take some breaths and settle in. Settle into your body. Settle into your heart. Drop into your hips. And take a moment for gratitude to give thanks for what you have received, for what you recognize that you've received, and for what is yet to be revealed what will be revealed over time to you. Say yes to the new creation. And thank you, thank you, thank you to your source and to all the angels, healers, helpers, and guides. And I invite you, as the quote I read at the beginning said, to notice the glorious phenomenon as the rising of the sun over your own familiar landscape. Behold a new heaven and earth and be born again in this moment and in every moment. And with that, I'll end the recording and open for the Q&A. If you're listening to the recording, you're welcome to join us live on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. You can join us live. Go to joyfullylivingwellness.com, joyfullylivingwellness.com. While you're there, pick up your copy of the 10 Spiritual Principles of Our Human Existence. It's a one sheet that gives you a reminder of the truth of who and what you are and why you're here and what this life on earth is about. It comes with a 15-minute guided meditation to help you to reconnect with that divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion from your source that is your life force within you to return you to that place and restore you to exist and subsist in that divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion. Uh, Opening now for the Q&A and ending the recording. Thank you so very much for being with us today.